Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet has sent a stern warning to certain individuals who want to reintroduce criminal groups. The police boss says they are aware that some individuals are reviving groups so that they can align themselves to some politicians as the country approaches the electioneering period. We are concerned that as we head towards the election period, we do not want those criminal groupings being used for activities other than legitimate competitive politics. We will go for the members of those criminal groupings and if if our investigations lead, lead to any politician, the law will obviously take some course. No, According to Boynet, the plans to revive the outlawed Mungiki sect, Sungu Sungu, Gaza in Kayole, Superpower in Isili, China Squad in Kisumu, among others in the country, and one that police are pursuing the ring leaders of the groups. In Busia, we have a group calling itself Marachi Republican Council. In Kericho, we have a group calling itself Haribika Boys. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, it's a serious matter. In Migori, we have a group calling itself the Baragoi Boys. In Moranga, we have Ward 4, Kirinyaga Kenta Kenta, Kilifi Nayeni Squat Association, and so forth. We have quite a, num quite a number of them. He said that some of these individuals are involved in the manufacture and sale of illicit alcohol, which he says the police, in conjunction with the national administration, are determined to root out. Some of these individuals are engaged in the manufacture, distribution and sale of illicit alcohol, the so-called second or third generation. And they should also know that we are going for them. Now, meanwhile, the government has offered 8 million shillings for four terror suspects who are wanted for involvement in the November 2014 attack against Marka Bas that led to the death of 28 Kenyans, the December 2014 killing of quarry workers in Mandera, Westgate Mall attack and the foiled attack against Parliament in March 2015. And we have foiled several plots. We have arrested several... Um, terror suspects in various parts of the country, some of whom, to be precise, three of whom were involved in the Lamu attacks against innocent civilians. Police have released the photos of Abdullahi Diyad, Idris Ishmael Isak, Hamed Uwais and Mohammed Shinde. Shinde is wanted for involvement in the Westgate Mall attack and the foiled attack against Parliament in March 2015. According to a dispatch from police, the four suspects are believed to be operating in the general area of Mandera, Wajir and the Gedo region of Somalia. Police say that the suspects may be in the company of other Al-Shabaab terrorists and may collaborate with Al-Shabaab sympathizers in the region. We call upon everyone to be very conscious of their surroundings and to report anything that is suspicious to the police for immediate action. Terror threat from Al-Shabaab is still very much alive. And therefore we must not drop the guard. It is still keen to stage attacks in this country by targeting security installations, other soft targets in the northeastern region of this country and at the coast. Bainat is also calling on Kenyans to be vigilant, saying that Al-Shabaab is keen on attacking the country. The terror group is targeting security installations, soft targets in the northern Kenya counties, in the coast and other major cities. Now, since last year, when terrorists attacked Garissa University College, authorities have beefed up security and thwarted an attack in which Al-Shabaab planned to bomb parliament last year.